We often look at our lives through a prism of limited perceptions, rarely with a backward glance. Then we often lack the perception of knowledge and understandings we need. No, we often have the intensity of our own righteous perceptions and indignations, which often lead to more tremendous suffering of our own and others. We can become trapped in these cages of our own making, where we feel bound by our own fear and despair. We can become completely locked into our own suffering, which we have bound ourselves in with our desire then to be in control. Sometimes we often fail to realise while well, we're bound up in these, bound up in our own dark night of the soul. It's only when we let go of our need to do, do it my way and surrender in our own despair, have compassion for it, cause its causes, we can truly see and accept the suffering of others. Others also are going through this on a parallel or have done so. It is only after we've been we've gone on gone on this journey, through this suffering, do we begin to have proper understanding of our true nature, that being our spiritual nature, so that we can often see things through a limited and and, and bound. We so often see things through a limited and bound understanding that comes from our culture, religions that have limiting rules that we must follow and comply with. No. It is about the quiet, tender acceptance of self, the gentle, nurturing love of free of self, free from the need of ego and gratification, or the approval of others. Only then can we offer to others that that we love the care they need from us. Then, when it is seated deep in our core, we allow it to radiate out to all things with genuine empathy and compassion for ourselves and for others then being genuinely in touch with who we are. Only then are we able to reach out in our full potential. Uh, only then are we able to reach out in our full potential to who we can be. If we wish to free ourselves from negative energy that persuade us faces around us, then only true, un pure, unconditional love, which has no physical form, but is genuine, honest, spiritual love, genuinely free and protected, only then we can accept what God or the universe gives us. The name is unimportant. Only when we understand the pain and suffering, we embrace it with humble grace. Things are not, are not given to us to matter. Things are not given to us. Things do not come to us to make us suffer uh, as punishment. They, ha they are given to us to help us grow in our compassion, understanding of self, so that we can share it with the needs of others.